what's up what's up what's up welcome once again to this amazing channel vibes with cops why, why does it feel like forever like i just missed a week of posting and it's already feels like forever okay yeah so if you are new here kindly subscribe right now so you can keep up with the vibes on this channel i give hacks and tips about immigration stuff about um travel hacks and all those things okay so if you are interested in any of these kindly subscribe so that you can keep up with the vibe just like i said so finally i get to bring you the last episode of the um one of the easiest ways to um enter canada and that's the express entry um technique or the or being able to um, find your way inside the express entry pool okay so i already spoke about what the express entry is all about the eligibility criteria um how to um and the document required as well um how to sign up or create an account using the gc key and finally i will be showing you how to apply how to apply and fortunately you know how i like to spoon feed you guys this will be a step by step um online vibe okay so please watch this video to the end do not skip any part of this video else you are going to miss a very important information okay so yeah subscribe right now and let's get straight into today's video So if you are actually new watching this video, I already dropped episode one and episode two of this particular video. So you can check them out um, in the description. I've left the link for those two videos in the description. So you can check them out so that you can have a better understanding as to what this is all about. Okay. Yeah. So let's get straight into the step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay. All right. So the first thing we need to do is use our browser, of course. Obviously, that's what we are going to be using. That's a silly thing to say. So... Um, you just type in um, IRCC Canada and you click on the first thing or I already showed you guys how to create an account so you can just decide to sign in using that particular account so because um, for the sake of time I will be using my personal or my second account okay my second account so sign in using GC key I sign in okay continuing all right so over here you click on apply to come to canada you don't have a reference code yet so you can actually skip this particular part and click on express entry and over here these are some eligibility tests you would have to um do so that they will know whether you actually qualify or not okay so if you don't know yet or like okay so if you don't know yet choose the province or territory you are most interested in so sorry guys i'll be going a bit a bit fast because i don't want to um waste a lot of time on this okay it's actually a lot of information but i don't want to waste time on it so i'll be going as fast as possible okay so please do pay attention so you choose ontario and click on next um you need to submit language test results for all programs under express entry blah 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 which language test did you take for your first official language so ielts you click on next what date did you take this test so um i'm just going to be choosing random stuff so that we um just do over there so january early january so first is fine you click on next so enter the test score for speaking so in episode two or i think one i spoke about the eligibility the documents required and you know you need to do an, um, an english proficiency test and over here you need to put in your results and all those things so um test score for speaking um i'll say eight for listening eight here um for reading let's say seven and um say 7.5 here too as well okay so next do you have any other language results which language test blah 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 you click on none but if you do you click on yes and specify so in the last three years how many years of skilled work experience do you have in canada you don't have any of that so you choose none 
if you do not have any canadian work experience during this period please choose none of the above so obviously you go for none of the above and in the last 10 years so this actually talks about your personal work experience irrespective of where you are applying from okay so in the last 10 years how many years of skilled work experience do you have so i will choose maybe four to five years or two to three years but whatever your work experience is you just go ahead with it okay so if you are not sure of the nlc for your job you can find it on blah 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 i spoke of of NOC codes and all those things. So you can check the other videos to have a better understanding of what NOC code is all about. Okay. Now you don't have any, so you just click on none or you select none. Next, um, how much money in dollars will, will you bring to Canada? So you can check the proof of funds where, um, regarding um, express entry. And if it's a single entry, you can have like, um, you can show around 12, thousand to thirteen thousand canadian dollars as your proof of funds okay so over here i can choose the first one okay now how many family members do you have um so this is basically to know the number of people you plan on bringing so over here it's kind of tricky so you just go ahead and choose one next do you have a valid job offer from canada no you go next um select your date of birth so let me choose any um so let's see uh 19 um let me go 1995 let me select um september uh 3rd okay all right so if you did not earn any blah 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 so what's your educational um your qualification and everything so if you have masters you go for it if you have a bachelor's degree you go for it so i will choose master's degree and tap on next okay so check all that actually applies to you so i have studied full time in canada for two no you haven't i have at least two years of full time work experience in canada no i have a relative in canada who is 18 years blah 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 no you don't so none of them actually relates to you so you just select none of the above and click on next now what is your marital status um never married single if you're married you select it and you move just be honest okay all right so next all right, so based on your answer, you appear to be eligible for express entry. So if you are not eligible, they will, actually, they will actually let you know straight up, you understand, okay? So step one, when you click on continue, you'll be guided through the following steps. You need to build your profile, review your profile, submit your profile, and step two, after you submit your profile, you will see a page that confirms, so blah, 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 all this side is, it's not kind of necessary at this point. So you can go ahead and just click on continue, okay? so tell us um your name so your last name um, let, um i'll go for Aminya. what is your first name enoch o c h oh yeah um your gender male all right so date is automatically placed there so what's your marital status never married single next then this will actually go straight to all you need so this is basically your form you see how simple it is it's very simple on vibes with caps i make everything simple for you you get it so please subscribe if you haven't okay please do subscribe okay all right so this basically shows all the documents you need and on the right side you see start form start form start form so under all these form names there are sub questions you need to answer under each of them and fortunately you get to um do this application online and just submit everything online you understand so personal details contact details study and languages so you need to have all these documents ready because you would be uploading some of them you would be getting or you will need information from some of them you understand so you need to have all these and for representative it basically means if someone is doing it for doing it for you or if you have an agency who is working for you or helping you with your application you need to specify which agency and um, the person who is actually doing it for you you get it your work history and all those things so i'm going to be opening the forms and i'll show you what's actually inside like i said i don't want to waste a lot of time on this particular thing today i want to go for like less than 12 minutes okay less than 12 minutes so I, I will 
be showing you how the form looks like and what's required in each field okay so for start for the form for personal details when you open it it's just like this they'll ask for your last name your first name and it also has um, personal description so you answer all these things you answer gender date of birth country easy marital status you click on it it drops down then you answer them id documents summary so you click on each and every one of them and you have to answer all of them immigration history and citizenship family so you fill this form as well when you finish you just have to save and exit it's just as simple as that so this is the status this is the status so when you finish it comes as um in progress when you are done filling the form it's the color turns green okay the color turns green and just see it's completed so you have to do the same for all the other forms and you are good to go so i'm going to open the contact detail form as well and it's also just like that so language of correspondence email address blah 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 that's so all you just save and continue so you do for all the other forms and when you are done there will be another option for you to submit for you for you to declare that this is you this is you blah 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 then you sign your signature digitally okay you sign digitally then you are good to submit it's just as simple as that it's just as simple as that so when you submit then you find yourself in the express entry pool and the draw for that particular one is done every two weeks i i i, I think i should have actually yeah i think it's done every two weeks I, I believe so done every two weeks so you can go on google click on the express entry draw and you can actually turn on post notification for that particular um event so when it's being done you will know whether you are selected or not it's just as simple as that like i always say the best way to enter into canada is through education or the express entry um or finding yourself in the express entry pool it's just no two ways about that it's just as simple as that okay so take advantage of this information practice what i've just um, shared with you guys and um i do believe it's going to help you out one day okay so thank you very much for watching today's video i hope you learned a thing or two from it do not forget to like share comment and subscribe and um yeah most importantly please subscribe and share share and like this video so that it can reach a lot of people then i will be doing more and more yeah so thank you very much have a lovely weekend and um vibe out